When you're working on your pitching, start small. In other words, you don't have to go to the 30 yard shot right away. Start at a 10 yard shot, maybe a 20 yard shot and build yourself up. The mechanics are the same, just the swing gets a little bigger as you move into a bigger shot. So the way to work on it is make sure it's set up that the ball is really in the middle of your stance. We don't want to get the ball too far forward or too far back. It'll change the angle of attack, so we put it towards the middle. Through impact, I want to make sure my body keeps moving so that everything is smooth. But what you really want to focus on is take some of that hinge out during the backswing. We don't want to see a lot of wrist cock. It makes the leading edge dig into the ground. It makes the contact very inconsistent. So I'm going to stay wider going back and move it through. Again, start small. So balls towards the middle of the stance. Just make a nice, smooth, easy swing. 10 yard shot, no problem. I'm gonna move into something bigger now. So it's the same technique, I'm not gonna change anything. Just make a little slightly bigger motion, same mechanics, ball middle, no hinge, and through. And then finally, when you get to the last one, same thing, we're still working the same mechanics, ball's in the middle of the stance, not a lot of hinge, and just move through the shot. Again, make sure that when you're working on your pitching and you're building your pitching game, that you start small. 10 yard shot, 20 yard shot, 30 yard shot. Ball in the middle of the stance, take the hinge out, move through the shot, you're gonna hit solid shots and you'll start to have a pitching game that'll help you lower your scores.